While many individuals possessing a penis may feel acquainted with its behaviors, there's a depth to this organ that often goes unnoticed. In the following video, we delve into 10 intriguing facts about the penis that may surprise you. 1. The first erection. Penile readiness is inherent from birth, with babies often exhibiting erections as they emerge from the womb. Ultrasound scans have even captured instances of fetal erections before delivery. Research from 1991 suggests that these fetal erections frequently coincide with rapid eye movement REM, sleep, occurring multiple times per hour. The exact reason for this phenomenon remains uncertain, but it could potentially serve as a mechanism for physiological testing and maintenance. 2. A penis is twice as long as you think. Many might find reassurance in this revelation, penises possess more length than meets the eye, with approximately half of their total length situated within the body. While you might ponder its utility hidden away, its connection to the body's anatomy necessitates its internal placement, ensuring its functionality and integration. 3. The Shoe Size Myth Let's dispel this myth once and for all. According to a 2002 study published in the journal BJU International, there exists no association between shoe size and penis length. An earlier study from 1993 did suggest a weak correlation between penile length, height, and foot size, however, the relationship was deemed impractical for estimating penis length. Another investigation in 2006, documented in the International Journal of Impotence Research, explored additional correlations. Researchers determined that penile dimensions showed significant links with age, height, and index finger length, but not foot size. 4. Morning Wood The majority of individuals with penises experience 3-5 to five erections each night, primarily during REM sleep, a phenomenon known as nocturnal penile tumescence. The precise reason for this occurrence remains elusive. One theory posits that it could aid in preventing bedwetting, as erections can inhibit urination. Regardless of the underlying cause, nocturnal erections can serve as a diagnostic indicator. If obtaining or sustaining an erection proves challenging while awake but not during sleep, it may suggest a psychological rather than a physical origin. 5. One final erection. Having acknowledged the occurrences of erections in utero and during sleep, What's even more remarkable is the phenomenon known as the death erection, also referred to as angel lust or a terminal erection. This occurrence takes place immediately after death, predominantly observed in individuals who have died from hanging. Scientists speculate that the pressure exerted by the noose on the cerebellum may contribute to this phenomenon. 6. The penis can break. The absence of a bone in the penis, although uncommon among mammals, doesn't exempt it from the possibility of fracture. This typically occurs during vigorous sexual activity, although medical professionals have documented cases involving individuals falling out of bed with an erection. The moment of fracture is often marked by a popping or cracking sound, accompanied by intense pain, swelling, and, unsurprisingly, flaccidity. Fortunately, such incidents are rare, and swift medical intervention can usually restore full function. It's crucial not to let embarrassment deter seeking medical help promptly. In a study analyzing 42 cases of penile fracture, the authors identified the most perilous position as woman on top. 7. No-brainer. The majority of individuals with penises have minimal control over the timing of their ejaculation. This is due in part to the fact that ejaculation is not directly controlled by the brain, rather, the signal to ejaculate originates from the spinal ejaculation generator. Situated within the spinal cord, this region orchestrates the essential functions required for ejaculation. While the brain does exert some influence over these processes, such as distraction techniques to delay ejaculation, the fundamental mechanisms are primarily governed by the spinal cord. 8. The Angle of the Dangle A penile erection can manifest in almost any orientation, straight ahead, to the left or right, upward or downward. There's no universally prescribed direction, it varies from person to person. Data from a study encompassing 1,484 erections reveal that variation is the norm. 
So, if you're concerned about your member's angle, rest assured that such variations are entirely normal. Furthermore, concerning the issue of straightness, very few penises are perfectly straight, they can exhibit curves in any direction. A curvature of up to 30 degrees is still considered within the realm of healthy variation. 9. Grower or show air. An analysis involving 274 participants revealed that there is no consistent correlation between the length of a flaccid penis and its size when erect. Some individuals start with a smaller flaccid size and experience significant growth when erect, known as growers. Conversely, others have a larger flaccid size but experience minimal growth when erect, referred to as showers. Additionally, some penises remain consistently small regardless of arousal, while others start large when flaccid and expand further when erect. In summary, the range of variations in penile size and response is diverse and multifaceted. 10. Cornflakes prevent masturbation. However, Dr. John Harvey Kellogg, the mastermind behind breakfast cereal, had hoped otherwise. He invented corn flakes and other products with the belief that plain foods would divert Americans from the sin of masturbation. Fortunately, nowadays, food manufacturers devote less effort to convincing youth to abstain from masturbation. And just in case there's any lingering doubt, it doesn't cause blindness either. If this list has piqued your interest, perhaps your next venture could involve planning a trip to Iceland to explore the Icelandic Phallological Museum, dedicated entirely to all things penile. The museum's inception traces back to Sigurd Jartarsson, whose fascination began in childhood when he was given a bull's penis. Alternatively, for those seeking a more adventurous culinary experience, a visit to the Gualazwang restaurant in Beijing beckons. This eatery specializes in dishes featuring penis and testicles. The choice is yours. Other interesting facts about the penis that you probably didn't know are, while the time it takes to reach orgasm varies among individuals, the length of the orgasm itself is more similar. In one study, women's orgasms lasted an average of 18 seconds, while men's lasted about 22 seconds. Penises are generally darker than the body they hang from. A micropenis is a term used by researchers to refer to a penis fewer than 2.8 inches in length when stretched. This condition affects only 0.6% of men, or 6 in 1,000 men, and is caused by inadequate testosterone at a late stage of fetal development. The penis stops growing when a man is in his early 20s. Men actually experience blue balls, technically called prostatic congestion, which is caused by trapped blood. This discomfort can usually be relieved by a warm shower, aspirin, or an orgasm. Sex can stop in relationships for many reasons. For some women, a natural decline in sex drive combined with painful postmenopausal sex makes them perfectly happy to say goodbye to it. If you don't want to have sex with your partner anymore, you might be with the wrong person. Research has shown that a happy sex life trumps menopause hormones and aging every time. In other words, if you want to have great sex until you're 90, you can. Many men and women over 60 report highly satisfying sex because it moves away from intercourse and becomes more focused on foreplay, which is often preferable for most women. If you can't talk about sex after 60, you'll probably stop having it. Most women start avoiding sex after 60 because it's painful, while most men avoid it because their penises don't work like they used to, and they're embarrassed to admit it. However, if you can talk about these things with each other, sex can continue in a less pressured, touch-based, and less orgasm-focused manner that both men and women often prefer. Sex toys can solve many sexual problems. If you have a woman over 50 who doesn't own a vibrator, buying one for her will almost certainly guarantee you both become more sexually satisfied. It truly is a case of, use it or lose it, with arousal after 40, let alone 60. Changing sexual positions and using over-the-counter lubrication or vaginal moisturizers may help maintain sexual enjoyment after 60. You can still safely resume sexual activity after a long period of abstinence. However, abstaining may set you up for more painful encounters in the future. Using a pillow under your back for the missionary position can add comfort. 
As you get older, standing positions may be more comfortable for both you and your partner compared to positions that involve either partner being on their hands and knees. Don't place too much pressure on every sexual encounter ending in an orgasm. Using condoms or some other form of protection, as well as discussing STD testing and your expectations of monogamy, are important features of beginning any new sexual relationship. According to the National Poll on Healthy Aging, 40% of people between the ages of 65 and 80 are sexually active, and of these, 73% say they are satisfied with their sex lives. Problems that used to limit sexual activity in older adults, such as erectile dysfunction and low libido, can now be treated with medication, counseling, and lifestyle changes. A 2019 study found that older adults who were sexually active reported a higher quality of life and sense of well-being. Another study of older adults found that about 60% said they took part in more subtle kinds of sexual closeness and intimacy, and that quality was more important than frequency. A higher frequency of sex in older adults was linked to lower rates of cancer, coronary heart disease, and other chronic illnesses. Lastly, eating nutritious food and exercising can give you energy and improve your sense of well-being in all aspects of your life, including your sex life. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.